Hello friends, my name is Sarvesh Inani. Uh, today we will discuss how to apply a Philip Perron test in R using URCA package. This package is a very comprehensive package and includes almost all the tests of stationarity and it's very uh, comprehensive package. Uh, so first uh, we have to just library URC command just to have this package and uh, just to attach the package and then I attach my file and the command for the Phillips parent test is uh, when I see what is my file first uh, futures and spot prices of commodities in India. So futures price I want to test the stationarity of futures price are they stationary at level or their first difference. So the command is ur.pp and then the file name futures and what kind of uh, test of uh, like z tau or z alpha it is mentioned literature in detail manner. Uh, generally z tau is used and constant or trend whatever you want the model you want to put constant or trend uh, this is the way uh, if you want to see all other arguments like you can put control space sorry uh, by comma and then control space type x what is happening here okay okay sorry inverted comma is not there these are the arguments x is the file we have mentioned futures the vector and the lags if you want to mention uh, because I am allowing uh, PP test to select automatic lag selection based on Bartlett kernel. Uh, uh, so this is the way uh, when I run this command X object of ur.pp has been created. I want to see the object I put X. This is X object giving me a test statistics which is minus 0.92. Here we have the null hypothesis of a uh, series is non-stationary. And uh, to reject it, we need coffee, uh, critical values. So by this way, uh, by writing this, by this command, object and uh, at the rate, at uh, and uh, uh, see well, which is critical values. These are my critical values. The conventional level here is minus 2.86 at 5% level. Uh, my value is uh, bigger than this. So I. Um, uh, if I say minus 0 0.2 is in the limit, so I can't reject the null hypothesis. So our series is non stationary at level. And here we also can see uh, what is the test statistics directly here um, in this way minus 0 0.2. If we want to plot it, we can plot it. What are the residuals? What is the characteristics to for diagnostic purpose? The SEF, the PSEF is our model fit or not? for these reasons. So this package is very comprehensive package. Uh, suppose if you want to check this, uh, so at the level we are saying the series is non-stationary. So what about at first difference? So here in this command, I am doing my, by using difference of futures with constant. I am not including trend here. You can put trend and check uh, further. So here if I say what is my X variable, sorry uh, x i just see minus 52 and the critical values we have already seen there uh, the critical values uh, minus 2.86 so here i say um, we are rejecting the null hypothesis and we say the series is stationary so in this way our series of future prices is i1 as usual it's not a very new thing for us we know very well so uh, this is the way we apply flip Perron test if you want to apply adf test in my earlier video i have uh, mentioned how to use adf test thanks a lot friends for watching the video